The EVAP canister, sometimes referred to as a charcoal canister, is a device that you have likely heard of before but may not have taken the time to comprehend fully. The charcoal canister absorbs fuel fumes in your tank to prevent them from being vented into the atmosphere. As vapors accumulate in the canister, they are eventually released through the vent line and purge valve into the engine, where they are burnt off. Since the charcoal canister is frequently concealed beneath the car and malfunctions infrequently, it is not odd that people forget about it so often. However, what will happen and how much will it cost if this odd component fails? Let's examine the typical indicators to watch out for. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Check engine light on. Your car's engine control unit continuously monitors all of its sensors. If one fails, it will store a trouble code and illuminate the dashboard with a check engine light to let you know that something is amiss. If the charcoal canister has gone bad, this is precisely what might occur. Being a closed system, the EVAP system must maintain a certain pressure. The check engine light will illuminate if the engine control unit detects a leak or a blockage in the system. You must check the trouble codes with a diagnostic scanner in order to determine the precise cause of the check engine light. Fuel Smell Odor Your charcoal canister may lose the fuel vapor it has stored if there is a split in the body. A damaged canister body could cause the vapor to be released into the atmosphere rather than being stored inside the canister before being sent through the vent pipe and the purge valve. The strong odor of this fuel vapor is detectable both when the engine is running and when it is turned off. Your charcoal canister is a good place to start in the diagnostic process if your car smells strongly of fuel even when it isn't running. Issues filling up the fuel tank. Fuel fumes pass through the charcoal canister, and they will have a harder time getting through if the canister is clogged. The fuel tank will experience high pressure as a result. When you refuel your vehicle, the same holds true. As fuel enters the tank, air and gases must exit as well. When you pour fuel in, air cannot escape if the fuel vapor vent line or charcoal canister is clogged. In addition to shutting off the fuel hose nozzle, this may also cause the fuel to spill out of the tank and into other areas. Hissing noise when you open the fuel tank cap. For the same reason, a clogged charcoal canister will cause the fuel tank to experience higher than normal overpressure or underpressure. This is especially apparent when you are ready to fill up your car with gas and you hear a lot of air escaping or entering the tank when you open the cap, making a hissing sound. A small amount of under or over pressure in your fuel tank is acceptable, but if it appears to be significantly higher than normal, there is most likely an issue with the EVAP system. Excessive smoke from exhaust. Depending on the issue, your exhaust may emit different colors of smoke, just like with any other problem that causes the engine to misfuel. It may be a sign that your engine is being misfueled if your exhaust has begun to smoke excessively. The reason for this misfueling may be that your charcoal canister isn't working properly. While excessive smoke from a charcoal canister is rare, it would be incorrect to claim that it never occurs. Blanking the vent pipe from the charcoal canister and watching to see if the exhaust smoke changes would be a simple test. If so, this would also suggest that the canister has a flaw. Failing Emissions Test you must pass annual emission tests in many states and countries to allow your car on the road. The emission levels of your car are examined during this test to make sure the fumes coming out of the exhaust are within legal limits. A malfunctioning fuel canister may be misfueling your engine, which would result in your car failing the emissions test. Since the fuel canister usually only operates passively, this can be challenging to locate. To see if it has an impact on your car's emissions, you can try blanking off the vent pipe of the fuel canister. If so, this would suggest that your car needs a new fuel canister in order to comply with emission standards. Replacement Cost Depending on the car model, replacing a charcoal canister typically costs between $130 and $300. The cost of a charcoal vapor canister ranges from $80 to $150. Between $50 and $150 is the labor cost. Although changing your fuel canister is extremely unlikely, it does happen if your car has a lot of miles on it. The charcoal canister itself is frequently reasonably priced, 
typically costing about $100. Even with only rudimentary knowledge, the replacement is frequently fairly simple and completed in an hour. However, some cars have it in a rather awkward place, so you should inspect it before replacing it. Hope the information was helpful and you will press the like button and subscribe to the channel.